spanning nearly half of the African continent, the vast open savannas and grasslands traverse over 25 countries, covering an area of nearly 13 million square kilometers. This region sustains millions of wild animal species, with the most renowned predators including lions, cheetahs, leopards, hyenas, wild dogs, and crocodiles. How do these top predators go about their hunting in order to establish their dominance in this land? Magnificent hunting and chasing moments by wild animals. Every August, approximately 1.5 million wildebeest migrate to the lush grasslands to continue their survival. And cheetahs are well aware of this. They initially appear on the open plains calmly, but concealed within them is the ability to reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour when pursuing prey. With this astonishing speed, wildebeests have no choice but to run and keep running. However, the cheetah is the smallest of the big cat species, and although they usually live and hunt solo, sometimes male cheetahs cooperate to bring down larger prey like wildebeest. Cheetahs have a hunting success rate of 50%, primarily due to their intolerance for excessively hot weather in Africa. They can only hunt medium-sized prey and have limited self-defense capabilities. First, they conceal themselves around the bushes to approach springboks, then they engage in pursuit. Within a distance of less than 300 yards, cheetahs capture their prey and conclude with a throat bite. Cheetahs call their cubs over, the young ones less than two months old touch the carcass, and they must strive to survive in the battle for survival, as there are only about 7,000 cheetahs left on the planet. Dusty footprints led the giants to the watery domain, where the rulers of the grasslands, the lions, reigned supreme. They existed as a pride, with the lionesses as the primary hunters, and they knew exactly how to bring down these massive buffaloes. Under the leadership of the leading lion, they separated a mother and her calf, crouching low to the ground to approach. The lion would strike the prey at a distance of about five meters, with the young one subdued by a throat bite, while the mother buffalo would meet her end with a bite to the spinal cord from behind. Lions have honed various hunting skills depending on specific circumstances. They can hunt alone for smaller prey or engage in coordinated group attacks for larger game. Zebras possess keen defensive skills using powerful kicks from their hind legs and the ability to sustain a longer run at the same speed as lions. Therefore, Lionesses must get as close to the prey as possible, as they can only sprint for a maximum of 300 feet. A single lion cannot bring down a zebra that outweighs it twofold, and assistance is needed at this point. These hunting skills were perfected around 10,000 years ago, 
when they were the most widespread species on land after humans. Today, Africa remains their last stronghold. The dense, winding forests stretching for kilometers across the African savannas are the domain of the leopard, marked by the scars on their ears as evidence of battles lasting for decades. Leopards often rest in trees and also use them as vantage points to spot prey. This large cat species hunts alone by stalking and pouncing, and it can leap up to six meters high to seize an impala, ending the prey's life with a throat bite. The leopard is the most agile among the big cat species, capable of hunting various types of prey in different terrains. Its padded paws make no sound as it approaches its target. Leopards can accelerate to speeds of up to 60 kilometers in pursuit. In some regions, baboons are also the preferred prey of leopards. However, the current status of the leopard subspecies is endangered. You can adopt a leopard through the WWF website. In Africa, while lions are highly revered, hyenas, on the contrary, are often looked down upon due to their scavenging behavior and consumption of carrion. In fact, 95% of a hyena's diet is acquired through hunting. They possess astonishing endurance, maintaining a continuous running speed of 50 kilometers an hour for up to five kilometers. Hyenas take turns pursuing prey until it becomes exhausted and they consume the meat while it is still alive. Hyenas do not stalk like big cats. They openly seek out the weakest members of a group to hunt. Each powerful bite helps them consume every part of the prey, including the bones. The reason hyenas eat their prey while it's still alive is because they fear other predators, especially lions, coming to steal their food. Over millions of years of evolution, hyenas have perfected hunting skills, making them the apex predators in the African landscape today. In Africa, it's not lions or leopards, but wild dogs that are the most successful hunters, with a success rate of up to 90%. They live and hunt in packs, starting by attacking prey and targeting the weakest individuals. Wild dogs have remarkable endurance. They will chase prey for miles, and when one dog tires, another will take over until the wildebeest becomes exhausted. Wild dogs subdue their prey with small but powerful jaw bites. They do not compete for food. In fact, members of the pack will care for the young, weak, and injured individuals. From arid landscapes to flooded plains, prey for wild dogs is not difficult to catch. If one dog holds onto the tail, others will attack elsewhere. Impalas may escape by diving into deep water, which makes wild dogs understand that the prey fears them more than crocodiles. However, 
crocodiles are also among the most dangerous aquatic predators. Ruling over the wild rivers where millions of wildebeest migrate, which serve as the lifeblood for these animals. Each wildebeest needs to drink eight liters of water and they must face off against crocodiles or else perish from thirst. Furthermore, crocodiles possess a bite force 10 times that of a white shark, reaching up to 3,700 pounds per square inch making them the planet's most powerful biters and facilitating the ease with which they tear apart their prey. Crocodiles are indeed some of the most adept ambush hunters. With eyes, ears, and nostrils situated on the top of their heads, crocodiles can stay low in the water, almost completely submerged concealing themselves from their prey. Even the cheetah, the fastest land animal, cannot escape the clutches of a crocodile's jaws. In Africa, there are numerous dangerous predator species each with unique and distinctive hunting methods. Not only are the predators fascinating, but the herbivorous species also add to the richness of nature in this region. The most essential element for wildlife is water. When the prolonged dry season in Africa can extend up to five months, wild dogs are the ones who arrive first to claim the water holes that lands intend to come and drink from. It's no surprise when they decide to attack the lions. Sometimes, what wild dogs desire is not just a hunting expedition, but rather to provoke the proud king of this land. Elephants and buffaloes are among the giant species of animals in Africa. This encounter between the two is quite intriguing. The elephant, with its rare organs, taunts the buffalo, but the sharp horns of the buffalo do not hesitate to strike right into the elephant's rear. A memorable lesson for the elephant about pride. Hunting is like a gamble, where winning can bring everything, but losing can be perilous even to one's life. The cheetah's hunting expedition serves as an example capable of reaching speeds up to 120 km per hour. The cheetah easily outpaces the gazelle sprint. However, it miscalculates its attack. The gazelle's horns act like a spear, driving straight into the cheetah's abdomen and propelling it upwards. A wound seemingly minor but actually dangerous. This is a failure as well as an experiential lesson for the cheetah. Hyenas in Kruger National Park make happy noises during lunchtime, but when lions attack them, they cry in terror. The lion transforms into an arrow, striking the hyena's neck directly at 60 kilometers an hour. But 
but the amazing hyena clan surprises the lion with a counterattack, confounding it and using the chance to successfully rescue the hyena. The rhino and the elephant, two of the big five, compete with one another in Africa. While the elephant has two tusks on either side of its mouth and an advantage with its long, grabbing trunk, the rhino has a sharp horn on its snout. By merely throwing a tree at the rhino with its trunk, the elephant can intimidate it into submission and make it cower in fear. Another midnight encounter saw the rhino actively attacking an elephant three times its size with its razor-sharp horn. It rapidly came to regret this choice, though. The elephant's ferocious charge caused its two tusks to pierce the rhino's body, inflicting pain and forcing it to leave. It's well known that cheetahs are the quickest terrestrial animals when it comes to speed. A cheetah was hunting gazelles when it caught up to its prey, but even with the help of the cubs, its body weight wasn't enough to easily overcome the gazelle. This gave the gazelle a chance to attack, and when they did, the gazelle's horn-like antlers impacted the cheetah's body and sent it into the air. The cheetah was left famished, and, more crucially, the future of its cubs was uncertain because their mother had suffered terrible injuries due to a tiny error that led to a regrettable failure. Wild beasts, much like buffaloes, possess a pair of sharp horns. Lions often find it easier to hunt wild beasts than buffaloes. However, this hunting attempt by the lion didn't go as expected. The lion approached the prey step by step, just like in previous hunts. But the lion's failure lay in its speed, as this time it was slower than the wild beast, which took a step away from the herd. Knowing that lions are the mightiest predators, they often hunt in groups to bring down prey like buffaloes. However, one might question if lions are overly confident when they dare to hunt an entire herd of buffaloes. And the result proves to be a failure as the lions made a grave mistake. Buffaloes, at times, can even kill a lion with their powerful hunts. Therefore, it is easier to take down a stray or weak buffalo rather than attempting to hunt an entire herd of buffaloes. A lion in Botswana's Maremi risks his life to kill a buffalo that is twice its size. These male lions are only attempting to sever the spinal cord on the buffalo's back since they are not skilled hunters. Their bulky bodies heave violently in an effort to loosen the razor-sharp fang buried in the flesh of the buffalo. The buffalo, on the other hand, has two razor-sharp horns to ward off the trespassers, leaving one of the male lions seriously hurt for continually attempting to attack it. One of the rare species that can defeat a lion is the buffalo.
Because food is in short supply during the rainy season, conditions are ideal for crocodiles to find carrion. Although there is little prey, there are numerous hunters, which causes conflict. Crocodiles attack their prey's mouth with their formidable jaws. Opportunity seekers don't waste any time snatching up a delectable bite. The winner is the crocodile who spots the food first, though. The bald eagle is a kind of sea eagle that mostly eats different kinds of fish. The bald eagle has found a crab as potential prey, but the crab's quick claws have confused it and cost it its dinner. In Kruger National Park, two hungry hyenas attempt to attack a zebra. However, this hoofed species uses its powerful kick to intimidate opportunistic hunters. In countless hunting endeavors, lions sometimes experience beta failures. The zebra is the easiest prey to hunt, and the lion is adjusting its speed to catch up with the zebra. With a precise pounce, both engage in a fierce struggle. But the lion manages to bite the zebra's neck to gain control. However, surprisingly, the zebra fights back with vigor and successfully escapes. You know, lions are opportunistic creatures. When a reno gets stuck in a mud pond, three lions decide to seize this opportunity for a hearty meal. However, while they are still figuring out how to attack the reno, it manages to escape from the predicament. One of the lions attempts to attack the reno, but the formidable creature fights back. The sharp horn serves as a solid defense weapon, allowing the reno to escape the harassment of these predators. The harsh weather conditions make water a precious resource, and the hippo slowly makes its way towards the only water hole in the area. It is a water deity, but lands are surrounding the hippo as it crosses their territory. The land cannot easily overpower this hippo. Its wrath intimidates the land with fear. At this moment, the hippo doesn't entirely desire to engage in a fight. So the lion's decision to retreat is a wise one. With each lion in position, they had meticulously prepared for a perfect hunt. The stray buffalo happened to be the excellent prey. They encircled the buffalo and one lion dominated its back. The lens sharp claws pierced the buffalo's flesh. Everything seems perfect, but suddenly the lens jumped off, giving the buffalo a chance to escape. The elephant was the reason for the lens' failure. The 
The Komodo dragon, which has existed on four Indonesian islands for millions of years, is the most dangerous predator in this area. They have enormous bodies, strong claws, pointed fangs, and poisonous bites. The Komodo's struggle for life is greatest in a 13 square mile area. The strongest will inherit the respect, the territory, the rights to mate, and the food sources when they prevail in the conflict. Wild beasts and zebras serves as an invitation for two lions to hunt down. The encounter of the two lions seems to signal cooperation in this hunting attempt. Unfortunately, their first cooperative effort fails as the prey detects their presence. The lion is lurking, ready to hunt buffalo. One of the buffaloes raises close to the lion. The brief moment of surprise on both their faces makes it a rare hunting opportunity for the lion. However, within a few seconds, the lion switches to attack mode. Unfortunately, the buffalo reacts swiftly and manages to run away. Lions also hunt solo in special cases. With all the support of teammates, the lion seems to have fewer chances of success in this hunting attempt. As predicted, all the wild beasts and zebras flee before the land can fully exert its strength. Failed hunting attempts are sometimes caused by their own teammates. The Midland targets an impala, and it is almost within its grasp when Atlantis also joins in the hunt, collides with the male lion. It is truly unfortunate that both of them end up experiencing failure. A reno being chased by a pride of lionesses. In the end, the rhinosaurus escaped from the big cats without a scratch. The land pride only wanted to play and train their hunting skills. They could not take down this adult reno. The main target of the land pride is a large buffalo. The lions quietly hide behind the bushes, waiting for the perfect moment to attack. However, despite their efforts to remain silent, the buffalo sense the imminent danger approaching. One lion proactively launched forward to strike, but the buffalo made a swift move and escaped from the lion's grasp. Despite their best efforts, the Lion Pride ultimately had to accept their failure in this hunting endeavor. The pit next to the gathering place of Impala's hides a lurking danger from the lions. The lions silently wait for the perfect moment to launch the bold hunting attack. It roars and lunges forward at lightning speed to capture the Impala, but the prey quickly escapes from the lion's grasp. The hunting failure deeply troubles the lion, 
as it has expended a great deal of effort to hide and wait, only to ultimately fail to catch its prey. Giraffes are recognizable emblems of Africa since they are the tallest land animals and the biggest herbivores. Additionally, they are renowned for their aggressive territorial behavior, with males frequently competing in neck wrestling matches. Their lengthy necks and heads serve as their main weapons in these battles. When two giraffes are standing closely together, they forcibly move their necks toward one another. The blows are so strong that they have the potential to knock the opponent to the ground, break their neck, or fracture their skull, putting them in danger of dying. The victorious giraffe frequently has wounds as a reminder of the constant struggle for survival. Because one drop of the black mamba's venom may render 15 adult humans incapable of moving, the animal has relatively few natural adversaries. The mongoose, a creature that can defeat the black mamba and has venom resistance, is its arch enemy. Mongooses dodge the black mamba's attack by darting about. They then attack the black mamba's head with their savage teeth, quickly turning it into food. The target of the lion pride was a young elephant in this herd of elephants. The lions began to encircle the two elephant mothers. The mother elephant tried to divert the attention of the lions to give the young elephant a chance to escape. However, this was not an easy task, as the mother elephant was surrounded and attacked by the lions. In desperation, she continuously spun around and fiercely resisted, with her powerful blows pushing back the attacking lions. In the end, with tremendous effort, the mother elephant managed to run away from the lion pride. A hippopotamus was slowly drinking water, but it sensed the potential danger from the lurking lions. Instead of being afraid, the hippopotamus showed great agility and courage by threatening the lions and forcing them to back off. The hippopotamus seems to be ready for a fight if the lions dared to attack, and was willing to defend itself at all costs. The herd of cattle is the hunting target of the lion pride. The panicked herd runs up the hill, but one of the cows gets her leg trapped. The lion targets that cow to attack, but the rest of the herd rallies together to protect their companion. They raise their sharp horns to threaten the lion and do their best to help the trapped cow. The lion is forced to retreat, witnessing the success of the cattle herd in their fight for survival. A male lion was stalking a gazelle. The lion began to charge towards the gazelle, a lion suddenly joined the hunt. The collision of the two lions gave the gazelle the opportunity to escape. Another case illustrating the danger of sharp horns involves a python. 
the python's mouth becomes ensnared by the prey's sharp horns. It's a delectable meal substantial enough to spare the python from hunting for months or even a year. But regrettably, it has to relinquish its prize and might as creates in pain. The leopard also paid the price for its foolishness when it dared to hunt a buffalo calf right in front of its parents. They immediately counterattacked the leopard with their sharp, carved horns as it struggled to carry the young prey and escape. Even though the leopard managed to flee up the tree, if it were truly confronted by this buffalo herd, it wouldn't stand a chance of victory. The strength of buffaloes is truly astonishing. Just look at how they triumph over these predatory machines. Their massive bodies are an advantage as buffaloes use their force to launch the claws of lions aside. One of the lions had a memorable experience being suspended meter on the horns of a buffalo. You'll never know if a leopard is right behind you. And the same goes for a warthog. It had its young one snatched in a matter of seconds. However, it also managed to flip the leopard to reclaim its offspring. Despite the leopard's speed of 58 km per hour, the warthog isn't fast enough to outspace this predator. Those who love wild animals are well aware that hyenas are the eternal adversaries of lions. They steal food, taunt, and provoke the grassland kings in a frenzied manner. Men cannot fight from alone. If the lances weren't pregnant, there might have been an intense battle. But the lands have to protect their future pride, and thus they have to give in to the highness. Wild dogs may not be the smallest species, but they are currently facing off against elephants, one of the largest creatures in Africa. To claim sole possession of this water hole, it seems quite audacious. Nonetheless, both species still have intriguing differences. I have never witnessed wild dogs successfully bring down an elephant. <laughs> if you have seen this happen before, please comment and share your experience with us. The lion reigns as the top predator in the animal kingdom due to its ability to bring down all large species by hunting in coordinated packs. However, the desert is no easy hunting ground, and this colossal prey is no pushover either.
and today is a bad day for the lions. A kick from a giraffe could cost a lion its life. They have failed, and seeking another prey might be an easier task than taking down the giraffe. A non lion was forced to seek shelter on a tree by a herd of 50 buffaloes before fighting them off one by one while standing behind a branch. Lions can bring down buffaloes, but they can also be taken down painfully by buffaloes. Don't take your eyes off the screen and keep watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've compiled. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more wildlife videos like this every day. See you again. Hello, welcome to Animal Moments channel. Animal Moments is a channel to explore the wild animal world. We bring dramatic, exciting, and creepy scenes when wild animals come across their competitors. Do you love to see wild animals like leopards, lions, tigers, hyenas, or hippos fight for their lives? Subscribe to the channel to watch videos that are broadcast regularly every day. I hope you're having a relaxing moment on the channel, Animal Moments. Goodbye, and see you in our next video.